removal, tire removal, and replacement. Six between eight and 14 mil, 15 mil in metric, whatever, doesn't matter, uh, imperial, uh, standard, whatever, <coughs> between eight and 14, 15 mil, six of them. And uh, what you do is you just break the bead loose, boom, and slip one of those bad boys in there sideways just like that, dunk. And then you go along and slip the next one in. And what that'll do is that'll break that bead along the way. And so, and then you do three and then four. By the time you get four in and you, yeah, and then you just put the other others in all the way around. And then as soon as you push in, as soon as you push in where you want to uh, put your spoon and, and pry it over, <clears throat> the force will shove all that other rest of that tire down in the middle. As long as your other side is broke loose too. But just for this one side alone even. Uh, and it'll break it. It'll, it'll just pull right up out of there because the force on that side will push that tire right down into the center. Okay. And when it does that, it'll just be like butter and you just pop it out. And as you go, you just pop out your stuff and pull them out, pull them aside. And then you take the other side and you do the, you don't even need to do the other side the same thing. But if it does creep up on you, you throw a couple of these bad boys in there on the other side as you're pulling the other side so that it can't creep too close to the edge of the rim and tighten itself up. So this will keep, if you put these in <clears throat> while you're pulling on one side, if, so say you got that side out already and this side you've got to go up over. So you just got to, you can even use these for it to slip the, tire down in it for this to have the most room to slip over it it's all about the room that you produce at the point where you're trying to take it off the rim <clears throat> if you've got the rim tucked if you got the tire bead tucked in the middle of the rim this will be no problem whatsoever It'll be just like butter i did my last i did my last spoon uh with one finger and no pressure whatsoever i just went dunk, and it popped right in there uh, when I, when I had to pop it in and cause it, I had my, uh, long sockets all the way around, pushing it right into the middle of the rim. It could do nothing but give. It was beautiful. I was so thankful that I took that time. I had learned that a long time ago and I had done it, but man, it'd been 15 years since I've touched a motorcycle rim and it took me a while to remember, but yes, Six sockets are your best friend on removing and installing tires on a motorcycle. Those are your best friend right there, buddy. That's what allows the tire to go where it needs to go for you to have maximum uh, room to play with putting the tire on. It's it's like butter once you learn it. I was so thankful. That's why I'm going to put this up on the internet for everybody. Six sockets are your best friend in uh, removing and putting on a new tire. All right, have fun.